Hello traders, this is Zanka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to Stocks on Watch for the week of September 10th, 2018. And we're gonna begin with the Q's. Q's weekly chart, big red bar, uh, actually triggered a weekly sell. That took the price lower very close to the 10 exponential moving average right into this cluster. So you can see here that this was la prior weeks uh, last week of July's rally was actually a breakout over this consolidation phase of over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close to seven to eight days. So we had a little bit of break fail and the price came back down, revisiting right now. Uh, the vicinity of the 10 exponential moving average landing back into the 180 zone. Let's take a quick look at the daily chart and see how we're shaping up. Uh, we still have a little bit of room to, uh, all the way into the 50 uh, simple moving average into the 179.70. And this is going to be the line in the sand. As you can see, this is a median line through this whole coiling at this 180 level. So we have been uh, pretty much basing around the 180 level for quite some time since mid-July. Finally, we got a breakout with a really nice follow through the last uh, week of August and then pull back right now into September. Last three days were actually a little bit more aggressive and we're left with a topping tail. Price is still struggling into the moving average web uh, and uh, a break over 182. And this is what I'm going to be watching for this week. 182.72 can potentially rotate and take the price higher back into these prior highs of 185 and 187. So this is the reversal that I'm going to be watching. A reversal that may break this 182.50 zone to 182.70 zone may break the prior resistance high. This is the resistance that was created throughout the month of July, and this is the resistance from August. And this break to the upside will dissolve the prior resistance area, setting the stage for a new rally. Um, keep in mind that we still have about two weeks left, two weeks plus left in the month of September. And don't forget that we are going to end the quarter uh, this month. So that means window dressing right? So still plenty of time for some solid pullbacks, getting ready for the last week of September and then getting ready for the new earnings season in October. But this is what I'm going to be watching this week, a break over this high of 182.65 uh, may create this reversal for a progression higher. We may create that price velocity that may take the price higher back into the 185 and back into the 187. Let's take a look at the spies. Uh, weekly chart of the spies just one second all right a little bit stronger as you can see right here we're trading in the upper 25 percent of prior weeks high so with that being said daily chart looks a little better when it comes to uh when it comes to a progression higher uh, we're tapping into a minor support level at the 286.5 zone, and we're still left with this with this topping tail here into the 10 exponential and bottoming into the 20 SMA. Time will tell if we are going to stop here into this minor support level or if we're going to have more follow through into the next support level, which is 184.5. 184.5 comes from this prior pivot high, and this was created. Uh, this was created on July 25th. Also, this has been coiling around. This is the median uh, line from this base, uh, and we had a revisit back in uh, August, uh, mid-August. All right, so as long as we have this uh, topping tail here, we can still see a little bit of selling pressure come underway. So I'm starting the week being a little bit more cautious. Uh, I'm not going to exclude the fact that we may get a little bit more selling underway. Um, so far, we're still holding support into this minor, uh, minor support level and the 20 moving average. So we'll see.
definitely the hourly chart looks a little bit lower. We still have a series of uh, lower lows and lower highs that are pointing and creating the pressure on price uh, from a smaller time frame. So they're pointing a little bit lower. Uh, actually, 15 minute chart on Friday, let me just put the 15 minute chart here. 15 minute chart on, uh, on, uh, on Friday was extremely choppy. We had a little bit of rally into the top of the range. Uh, and also reversing at this 200 moving average, taking the price back down and then meandering towards the end of the trading session. So the price is still this, uh, the price still remains a little bit, uh, a little bit more choppy. All right. So this was the spy. Let's move on to IWM. Uh, this is the Russell and this is the weekly chart. So as you can see right here, the weekly chart. Uh, also triggered a weekly sell, taking the price back down into a minor support level at 169.4. Uh, daily charts, here it is, daily chart, Tochi style uh, candle uh, into the end of the day on Friday, revisiting the 20 simple moving average and also revisiting a prior pivot high from the end of June and also creating a shelf of support for current price action, 170 is gonna be that line in the sand. If within this week, we're gonna have a price trigger over 171.50, I see a reversal, a daily and a weekly, uh, a daily actually, a daily buy over these highs may project the price higher back into the 172.5, challenging uh, the all time high into the 173 and there's still a lot of room for the upside with a projection close to 175. So still, we're still looking very bullish. Don't forget, we're still into a very massive uptrend. All right, let's get down to our stocks and these are some of the stocks that are on my watch list that I have already set alerts for this, for this upcoming week. First stock on my watch is actually XOM. We're gonna take a look at it from the monthly perspective. The monthly seems to be very interesting, pinning down into this uh, 20 and the 10 exponential moving average and has a trigger, a monthly trigger over 181.75. Uh, we were trading a tad higher than the trigger price into the 81.83, and we did manage to do that on Friday. On Friday, we had a really nice solid move up. Uh, we had three continuous bar on the, on the one hour chart that just pushed the price higher. And also what I like on the daily chart is the fact that we have a really strong bull sandwich that is ready for a continuation higher. So we had a very, very strong continuation uh, on Friday that may project the price higher back into the top of the range into the 84. All right, the next stock on my list is Disney. Uh, Disney has a very interesting chart pattern. I'm gonna start very quickly with the monthly chart. If we're gonna get a monthly trigger in Disney over 112, we may have a really nice reversal and a monthly buy that may trigger and may bring more buyers to the table back into a target level of 116 and even back into the 120. So Disney's going to be in our watch list with a trigger price of 112. WBA, WBA trying to pick up, really, uh, really trying to establish a, a bottom, and I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit of what I'm seeing here on the daily chart. But let's start with the monthly chart. We pretty much have a doji. We're trading into a continuation pattern from this uh, uh, candle high from back in June. Uh, and uh, 6885, this, this is the line in the sand from which we can uh, actually move a little bit higher. Weekly chart as well, looking very nicely here, tapping onto the 10 exponential moving average and also hitting this 50 moving average that it coincides with prior resistance level from back in April and also from June and July. And uh, if we get a trigger in WBA over 68.60, this is the trigger price, I'm gonna be ready for a position long. All right, now let's move to MMM, 3M right here, and 3M looking very strong. I do love the monthly chart, so we're getting some really nice monthly, monthly uh, setups. 
In fact, most of the Dow stocks have pretty nice monthly setups. Dow has been one of the strongest, so a really nice price action here. If uh, 3M manages to trade above uh, 214, this is the trigger price that uh, that I'm seeing right now. The two, uh, I'm sorry, it's two, uh, 213, not 214. Uh, two thir uh, two Okay, 213 is the trigger price. This is what I'm looking right here. We have a high of uh, 212.78. I really like to see a little bit more confirmation break through that 13 zone and uh, get it on the confirmation uh, breakout here onto the monthly. I still see a really strong potential for a continuation higher back into the 240 level at least and probably back into the 259, uh, the area that was tested back here uh in uh in january all right so let's continue with caterpillar caterpillar again a very strong name uh and uh, caterpillar is on my watch at 142 uh 142 uh 14215 i'm going to show you in uh just a second but we have a really nice uh, kind of choppy pullback to say the least uh into the 20 Simple moving average, nice bottoming tail here, really nice signal for a continuation higher. 143.8 would be the trigger on the monthly chart. The weekly chart, however, uh, I do like the weekly a little bit closer than that. So 142.15, the area that I was mentioning a little bit earlier, 142, uh, uh, 12 to 13, this is gonna be the trigger for higher. Uh, for next week, we have a really nice week last week, very solid green week, and uh, also daily chart uh, looks for a continuation higher. Still turbulent territory until we get over this 143 zone, so from 142 to 143, and obviously 143 is going to represent the first target level, second target level into the 145. All right, next stock that is on my list is Microsoft. And Microsoft has a really nice uh, daily um, setup with a pullback back into uh, back into very close to the 10 exponential moving average. Uh, I'm sorry, to the 50 simple moving average. However, what I do like in this setup right here, a really nice doji here. Uh, what I do like in this setup is that we have the lift off the bottoms right here and we have some rising tops. Uh, all time high 112.78 and we had a really nice candle the prior week uh, and then this week we didn't really pull back that much we respected uh, we respected we, we had that lift from the never violated the prior low and uh, the doji bar here very interesting if we could get a little bit of lift over this um, 109 109 seems to be the magic number and the magic price over 109, I'm gonna go um, for a swing uh, with target levels into the 110, target levels into 111 and into prior high. And there are extensions that may take the price back, uh, that may take the price beyond 112.78, which is the all time high, may take it to 113.95. That's the next projection that I'm gonna be looking for in Microsoft. Walmart, this is a trade that we're already in and uh it has a really nice weekly pattern uh we had the initial breakout we have the pullback and right now we're having this congestion this cluster with support at 94 dollars trigger price once again 97 dollars in fact 96.83 if you want an earlier entry but a really nice um, over not, a really nice setup that may develop over $97. $97 may be ready to continue higher back into these prior highs of 100. And it does have a tradable void all the way into 108 and 109, even 109.98. So it has a, a it has a really nice, so, <laughs> excuse me, solid setup for a continuation higher. Uh, v, uh, Visa. Uh, also has a very interesting daily setup that is forming off the 20 simple moving average confluence zone uh, and into a minor support level deriving from this prior pivot high with a really nice trigger over this prior candle high over the 144.50. 144.50 to 144.70, 20 cents of cushion. That's going to be the test and retest area. So if you don't want to get it, 
the first time. Wait for a break. Wait for the pattern on the intraday. Wait for a break over 70. Make sure that the price is ready to type in um, 72s and 75s and then look for a pullback back into the 50 if you want to wait for a little bit more confirmation if you want to get a little bit better price. Um, and this is for the swing. Apple. Um, Apple. All right. Don't forget there's uh, the new, uh, new iPhone unveiling this week. I think it's on Wednesday. It's on the 12th. Uh, and I think it's on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? It's Wednesday on the 12th. Okay. It's Wednesday on the 12th. This is going to be a very interesting watch. I think the stock is definitely way overextended. Um, Monthly chart, definitely way, way extended. We're still trading in the top 25% of the prior month. It had a phenomenal August. And don't forget, that's gonna be our top watch for window dressing uh, come last week of September. All right, weekly chart also extended, correcting after establishing a new high this week. Uh, this, la I'm sorry, last week, last, uh, last, uh, uh, last week. Uh, 229.67, correcting right now. I would still be uh, watching it a little bit more. Uh, I love the way the one hour is trading. I'm gonna show you that in just a second, but let's first move on to this daily chart. I'm not excluding the fact that Apple may not be done pulling back. 219.5 may be the, pull back, the next shelf area from 219 all the way to 217.8. And that is from this prior pivot high. This is minor support for current price action. This prior high, which was established on August the 20th. So I'm not excluding a little bit of a pullback right here. I'm gonna be watching it. What I really like is the hourly charts. Uh, hourly chart of Apple looks very interesting, although very choppy, as you can see here, uh, with a big flush bar uh, that took the price below the 200, uh, 200 simple moving average on Friday. But I'm going to be watching it over 225. And if it's not going to clear the 225, then perhaps it may be ready for that leg lower. And I think with Apple, we need to have a little bit of patience and definitely worth a watch into Wednesday. This is going to be a top, top watch. All right. Uh, EA is setting up a really pretty pattern. Where? On the weekly charts. Weekly chart of EA, really nice pinning formation into this cluster uh, to the left-hand side. This is an area that was previously, previously digested through the month of May, uh, May, June, July, August, October. You can see it right here, last year. 2018 propelled a little higher. We're back here, back into the support level from uh, April. And uh, a trigger over this prior high of 116 may create that velocity for the price to go and move further into the 123 level. So this is also a bull watch right here into EA Electronic Arts. Uh, the next stock on my uh, on my list is Marriott. Okay, love this stock. I love their hotel. At one point, I used to work for the JW Marriott. And uh, it was for a very brief moment when I was trying to escape the financial world. And then I took great pride and joy by working for Marriott. It was a great opportunity uh, and definitely so much fun. It was unbelievable. Uh, what I do like is the monthly chart a beautiful, beautiful uh, bottomy tail doji like candle that we have established not last week, but the week before. Uh, and very interesting, small little baby candle that is uh, that is really formed right now into the 127. A blast over 127 may have the potential to run it higher into the 129 and a half, and even more into the 133 and 140. Tight stop right here into the uh, 123. You may consider options if you want. I particularly like this more of a swing trade, and I really love this really nice baby candle right here. The only problem that we have right now with this pattern is the uh, 50 simple moving average that we have here into the 126.73.
All right, so with that being said, let's move on to ATVI. This is another stock on my watch. Uh, ATVI is setting up also very nicely. Uh, and again, this the theme this week is going to be patience because uh, September is known to be a very tricky uh, month. Last year was a little bit different because we had a beautiful move to the upside, but typically it's not that... Uh, typically, it's a choppy month. It's a choppy month that pretty much sets up for window dressing at the end of September, last week of September. And also, things are getting ready for earnings, for October earnings, for the last quarter, most powerful quarter. 7580 is the trigger for ATVI for higher. Uh, also, uh, I like the formation on the daily chart. Obviously, I'm going to be looking for a tighter uh, stop than... Uh, then that 70 zone. So we'll be looking possibly on a trigger um, for a risk into the $71. And this is ATVI. Uh, also, uh, BMRN. Uh, BMRN setting up nicely on the weekly and also onto the monthly. So here is the, uh, here's the monthly chart. BMRN over $99.27. Uh, looks definitely higher for another blast back into the 105 and change. Uh, and also the weekly chart is very interesting. We're tapping here just a peekaboo above this. 10 exponential moving average into the 98.85. May potentially take the price higher back into the 104 and 105. So BMRN high on my watch list. Uh, SNPS. And uh, to answer a quick question, uh, I was asked, okay, what is my criteria and what is, you know, my, um, uh, for selecting uh, swing trades, um, I typically look for stocks that are trading over 1 million shares a day, so I'm not looking for anything thin. I'm looking for high volume and the setups that I'm looking for are either breakouts or pullback buys or pullback sales into key levels. All right, uh, SNPS is definitely going to be on my uh, on my watch, and this is going to be based on a daily formation. This is a really nice move to the upside, and we have a new all time high of 102, uh, 102.91 pull back into the 10 exponential. We did have a trigger the prior week uh, into the 101.75 continuation this week. I expect more continuation over 102.30, uh, 102.35. That potentially may take the price to highs of 103 and 104.32. These are the projected target levels that I have. CSX. Now, this is a bearish pattern right here. Things are getting a little bit more choppier. You can see that the price is starting to create some topping tails. Uh, the pattern seems a little bit more exhausted. When you look on the weekly chart, you could see a, a topping tail here, body, break of the body, continuation lower, 73.70, and it's trying to pull back right here. I'm going to be watching this for, a, I would say, a very short-term swing, possibly into the 72 and 71 target levels, at which point we will be looking again for another buy set up into the CSX. Intel has a very interesting pattern, although it seems that it has more selling pressure underway. Uh, this is something, then this is the weekly chart. This is something that uh, I had on my list, but uh, I missed the trade because it does look a little weaker. Uh, and I had an alert at one uh, at 47.6 on the weekly, uh, missed the trade rally, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, collapsed uh, into the 146 and change zone. This was my target one level. Any pullback is going to be considered a sell. Most likely on the one hour chart, we have a flat 200 moving average at 47.70. So that means that as long as price is going to remain below the moving averages, in fact, the, uh, the hourly chart, you can see that the moving averages are fanning out. They may be ready for another continuation lower. 
I'm going to be watching pullbacks to the 10 exponential moving average, possibly to the 20 simple moving average and a rotation that may take the price back lower. Uh, target for lower, uh, I'm looking at 45 and I'm looking at 44. Uh, so definitely Intel is on a lot of pressure right here. Uh, I have three more stocks on my radar, a DE, and I'm going to go back to the daily chart in DE, which is trying to break above these prior highs, still a little bit of resistance from this 200 SMA here on the 151 level, but daily is not as interesting as the monthly is. Because the monthly chart looks a lot like it wants to break above this 148.76. Really nice doji that was created not last week, but the week before. Last week, really nice trying to go a little bit higher here. So 148.76 looks for a projection higher back into the 160 possibly back into the 175. So uh, keep an eye on DE because DE looks very good for a continuation higher here. Really solid week last week, really nice. Uh, last three trading days were super powerful. We had a really nice pullback buy onto the daily chart right here, and we're getting ready to explode on the monthly chart. All right, uh, CMG and CMG, here it is. Uh, CMG and then one more and we're done. <laughs> okay, CMG, very interesting daily chart that dug a little bit into this 10 exponent, into this 50 simple uh, moving average, taking the price a little bit lower right here. And as you can see, all the way, look to the left-hand side, bingo, this is, pro this is this resistance now creates minor support for current price action at the 467 zone and rotating back up very, very nice, uh, very nice pattern. What I do like the most is the weekly chart. The weekly chart looks poised to continue higher. 483.21 is the trigger price with the risk of 467.50. Uh, we're looking for 500 bucks back again into these prior highs that were established uh, in April. Uh, wow, that was a long time ago. So we're probably going to revisit these highs right here. And this was back in 2015. All right. So uh, 500 for a target level, 525. Uh, but definitely this is going to be the, uh, the, uh, the first target into the 496 to 500 zone and back into the 525. Beautiful pattern, beautiful formation. Love, love, love. Um, and we do have this cross of the 200 and the 10 exponential moving average. If market conditions are going to be favorable, if um, we're going to have uh, we're going to have our indices and everything uh, moving our way, this is going to be and perhaps moving a little bit higher. This is going to be a really really nice move. Okay, guys, time for the last trade of the night, and this is BMY. Uh, Bristol Myers, really nice consolidation sandwich. We have a weekly sandwich here. You can see it's a bull sandwich with a trigger over uh, 61.35. Very nice formation. In fact, 61.40 is where I have my alert on. Uh, it looks a really, it looks like a really good breakout on the weekly chart. Uh, looks for a continue. I'm gonna be looking for a continuation higher back into the 65. I'm not a big fan, not a big fan of pharma stocks. Uh, and I, I recall, you know, uh, trading BMI a while back. Um, and uh, I, you know, like I said, you know, not a big fan. Like, a, And this is sort of like more of a core trade than anything else. It's not going to be like a quick swing for me. Uh, and definitely looking for a continuation higher into the 65 and back into the 68. So this, uh, you know, just, you know, just to make a little note here, you know, sometimes when you initiate trades in some of these, um, uh, you know, either medical or pharmaceutical or healthcare stocks, et cetera, depending on the stock, obviously, but, uh, you know, things may not go as planned. Obviously, technicals are technicals, but definitely there are a lot of other things that you have to take into consideration. And, uh, you know, they, they don't have, you know, they don't have a really hot, they don't really have really high, high odds of working. 
Uh, my suggestion, and this is something that I do in my personal trading account, is I usually take half of the position so I have no pressure, no emotions on it, or even quarter of position. So just get, you know, just a little bit, if you have a pretty mouth-watering, or even do options, okay? If you have a pretty mouth watering, because I love the way it is, we're setting up right here, and we're trying to establish this peekaboo above this 200 SMA here that may push the price higher back into the resistance zone of 65, 65 and change, and back into these highs uh, of 67 all the way into the 70. This is all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in and spending your 30 minutes with me this Sunday. And don't forget that we have our trading room where uh, we call, uh, where we day trade futures and swing trade futures and stocks. And if you're interested, uh, this week is actually gonna be the last week where we offer the $199 price. You can sign up and lock in this price for the duration of your subscription. As of Friday, Friday night, Friday at midnight, the price is gonna go up to $299 a month. If you're interested, um, visit uh, visit our website. It is tradeoutloud.com for a slash live trading room if you want more information. Also, we have a brand new launched auto trading program for futures. If you don't have the time to trade, uh, we could trade for you. So uh, if you're interested, uh, just uh, fill out the information uh, on the page. It is tradeoutloud.com for a slash auto trader, auto trading and uh, Drop us, uh, drop us a little note there and we'll get back. My team is going to get back to you. Thanks so much, guys. Have a really profitable trading week. Stay safe and I'll see you next week.